Wash the basmati rice under cold running water until the water runs clear. Soak the rice in water for 30 minutes, then drain. In a large pot, bring water to a boil and add salt. Cook the rice until it is 70% cooked. Drain the rice and set aside. In a separate pan, heat 2 tablespoons of ghee or oil. Add cumin seeds, cloves, cinnamon stick, green cardamom pods, and bay leaf. Saute for a minute until fragrant. Add the sliced onions and cook until they turn golden brown. Move half of the caramelized onions and set them aside for garnishing. Add ginger, garlic, and green chilies to the pan and saute for a minute. Then, add the chopped tomatoes and cook until they turn soft. Add turmeric powder, red chili powder, biryani masala powder, and salt. Mix well and cook for a couple of minutes. Add the chicken pieces to the pan and cook until they are no longer pink. Stir in the yogurt, mint leaves, and coriander leaves. Cook for 5 minutes until the chicken is well coated with the spices. In a small bowl, soak a few saffron strands in warm milk and set aside. Take a heavy bottomed pot with a tight fitting lid. Grease the bottom with a little ghee or oil to prevent sticking. Lay a half of the partially cooked rice at the bottom of the pot. Top it with half of the chicken and spice mixture. Repeat the layers with the remaining rice and chicken. Drizzle the saffron milk over the top layer of rice. Sprinkle the reserved caramelized onions on top. Drizzle 2 tablespoons of ghee or oil evenly over the rice. Cover the pot tightly with the lid and cook on low heat for about 23 minutes or until the rice is fully cooked and the flavors have melded together. Once cooked, let the biryani rest for 5 minutes. Gently fluff the rice with a fork, being careful not to break the grains. Serve the chicken biryani hot with rata and enjoy.